Hey, how's it going, folks? I'm back out here, um, playing with the Triumph again. So, I went and, uh, I put my new air filters on. Well, I got the bike running. Everything was running fine. Um, it was idling pretty high, and I figured that, uh, it was probably because I didn't have air filters on, and I hadn't adjusted the carbs at all. Um, so... When I got the air filters in, I put them on, um, did the basic carb setup that I've read about, um, and now the bike won't start at all with the carbs, with the with the everything on, even the cover here. Um, let me show you this this cover goes right here, which seals up that air box. Um, when I have that cover on. No, it, the bike won't start at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the beginning again, and I am going to readjust these the carbs the way that they say to do it, which is uh, basically turn the the, uh, the the throttle in until um, hmm this feels pretty stiff. Maybe my cables are too tight. Uh, anyway, you adjust that until the the, uh, the throttle screw, or the throttle idle screw, I think it's called, um, just touches the slide on the inside. And the slide's moving. I mean, I can move it with my finger just fine. And it looks like it's moving the cable up there, so it seems to be working. Um, and the same for the other one. I, I mean, I'm, I don't know if you can see it, but... Well, let me go over there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I don't have a, a light on over here, but... Yeah, slides are moving just fine. So, slides are moving. Um, so, I don't know what else to do. What I'm going to do now, though, is I'm going to start back from the beginning with the with the uh, the uh, airbox covers off and uh, I had a problem <laughs> just complete side note but I had a problem with this bolt where it kept slipping back in when I tried to put the side cover on because it slides into this little hole right there right um, so what I did was I just went and found a little o-ring and you can see it down in there I just put that little o-ring on there to to hold that bolt steady while I put the nut on it. <laughs> anyway. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to try to figure out why it won't start with the air covers on. I'm going to see if I can get it to start without them on. And then I'll uh, fill you in. Well, here's where I'm at right now. Um, I can get the bike to kick over now um, pretty reliably as long as I keep the uh, enricher open and um, I put it at a quarter of a throttle. I can start it pretty much every time if I do that. Um, the problem is when it's warmed up, it shouldn't need the enricher. So now I'm just trying to figure that out. But also, like right now, I can't start it using the method that I just told you, quarter throttle and the enricher. So I can't tell if I'm running too lean or too rich, but I'm doing one of those. <laughs> um, and every time that I flip on the, uh, the run switch, yes, I know my run switch is on off, but that's the only way the bike will start if it's, if it's over here on off. So, don't know why that is. Um, anyway, every time I flip this switch in between tries, I get a big poof, which are the the plugs, you know, popping off. Um, the plugs are sparking inside the cylinder heads, so it's burning off all the gas in there, right? And that's kind of telling me that I'm getting too much gas, I think. I'm not positive, but I think. 
so I've been doing my best to try to lean it out some and I mean I've just I've taken those screws all the way down the the throttle adjustment screws I've taken them all the way down to where they're almost out and it hasn't made a difference whatsoever so it's um, 11.30 at night here and I'm just tired and tired of fooling with it for now so I'm gonna go to bed and uh, pick it back up tomorrow but yeah I mean there it is I, I basically got the whole thing put back together now I even put the side panels on down in there you can see um, so this is what it will look like for the first time when I ride it everything's back on and ready to go I just need to figure out why this silly little carburetors <laughs> will not um, get the right fuel mixture air fuel mixture so that's always been a problem of mine I've, I've never been good at uh, figuring out the air to fuel ratios as far as which screw to turn when and how and blah 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 and I've watched a million YouTube videos I've had people tell me it just never I don't know I can never figure it out the way that they do so but I'm trying I'm trying with this bike I am this is gonna be my first attempt to actually figure out why I can never figure that out <laughs> if that made any sense um, but yeah that's where I'm at so I had a problem earlier where it wouldn't start and uh, I realized that I just wasn't getting spark so there was nothing wrong with the carbs at all I just I just wasn't getting spark what I had done was when I replaced the um, the coils I put new leads on the wires to plug onto the coils and they seemed fine at the time but I guess they just weren't snug enough so they kept rattling themselves off of the the coil you know and then they were they weren't even attached so I wasn't getting any spark <laughs> so I went in with my uh, electrical pliers and I just pinched them down a little bit and now they should hold snug um, and I guess I'll uh, have to check on them later but yeah oh here's one interesting thing I wanted to show you before I close out this video these side covers here um, I got both of them, and, the, and the, you know, they're not bad, but the, the badges on them are just terrible. I don't know if you can see, maybe if I turn it to the side. Um, there's cracking all over, and I mean, it's just, it might look good on camera, but trust me, it does not look good. So, I am uh, going to go ahead and buy new ones. Not right now, just eventually. But, um... Yeah, so what I wanted to show you, though, was that these side covers, there's one on each side, of course, and they're just held on by clipping onto the frame back here. Um, if you feel back inside up here, you can feel the back of the cover. So it basically goes on like this, and then flat. And then there are two springs. These little springs right here, I don't know if you can see them. I'll turn my gas off while I'm here. Um, yeah, this little spring right here. And there's one on the bottom. Those were completely, I mean, well, I had half of one. And I, only a half of one. One of them was gone completely. And there was still half of one in a box, but it, it was all rusted and I couldn't do anything with it. So I ended up buying new ones and uh, they worked out pretty well. So same thing over here. Um, actually this cover well you can't really see it probably but this yeah you can look at the lettering is just in the Bonneville itself is just terrible so I'm gonna order new ones but but yeah I just thought it was interesting that these are held on with basically just a couple of springs <laughs> you know it's funny to me I mean it's interesting it's easy to take off that's not an issue but yeah I don't know why they couldn't have just have incorporated this into the air box which is just another plastic cover right under this so I guess British engineering right yeah all right anyway um, I know she'll start I'm not worried about that electrical's good 
Uh, clutch is not stuck anymore. It works fine. Um, all the fluids have been changed. Both brakes work. The only thing that I'm doing now is just trying to figure out how to get the carbs resolved. And uh, once I figure that out, and I will, it's just a matter of time. Once I get that figured out, I will uh, video my first test drive. Which will probably, <coughs> excuse me, it'll probably just be up and down the driveway, but uh, I'll try to capture it on video if I can. Um, oh, and yeah. I've still got the old Honda. She's running good. I drove her to work today. But yep, there we are. Okay. This is crazy. I'm, I I just can't believe I even have this bike in my garage. <laughs> Love this thing. Oh, anyway, um, yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm hoping to get this thing going here before the weekend. Uh, it's just just a little more tinkering with the carbs is all I got to do. So, I, okay, I've rambled on long enough. I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go, and uh, I will catch you on the next one. Hopefully the next one will be me telling you that I got the carb issue sorted out, and you'll be seeing a test drive. So, tune in later. I'll catch you. Bye.